Good morning, everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss how to evaluate maxima and minima of functions of two variables. In the previous classes, we have discussed how to find maximum and minimum values of a function of one variable. We are going to use similar techniques for functions of two variables here. Suppose if we imagine the graph of a function of two variables to be a mountain range, as in this figure, we can say that there are mountain tops, which are high points, and there are valley bottoms where you have low points. In the same way, we can find the maximum and minimum of a function if the functions are plotted in such a way. Suppose a function of two variables is said to have relative maximum at a point x0, y0 if there is a disk centered at x0, y0 such that f of x0, y0 is greater than or equal to f of x, y for all points inside the disk. And f is said to have an absolute maximum at x0, y0 if f of x0, y0 is greater than or equal to f of x, y for all x, y in the domain of f. Now let's move to the second definition. A function f of two variables is said to have relative minimum at a point x0, y0 if there is a disk centered at x0, y0 such that f of x0, y0 is less than or equal to f of x, y for all points inside the disk. And f is said to have an absolute minimum at x0, y0 if f of x0, y0 is less than or equal to f of x, y for all the points inside the domain of f. Now, we know that for a function of one variable, we used to calculate relative extremums that means relative maxima or relative minima by taking the first derivative, equating it to zero, and then taking the second derivative and comparing whether the second derivative is positive or negative to conclude whether a point is maximum or minimum. We are using an analog of this result for functions of two variables. Suppose, okay, before moving to that, just recall a definition. A point x0, y0 in the domain of f of x, y is called a critical point of the function f if derivative of f with respect to x evaluated at the point x0, y0 is equal to 0 and the partial derivative of f with respect to y at x0, y0 is equal to 0, or if one or both partial derivatives do not exist at x0, y0. Now, the test for checking relative maxima and minima for two variable function is the second partial test and let's see what it is suppose f be a function of two variables with continuous second order partial derivative in some disk centered at the critical point x0 y0 critical point means fx evaluated at x0 y0 is equal to zero and the partial derivative with respect to y is also equal to zero and let D 
is equal to second derivative of f with respect to x f x x evaluated at x naught y naught into f y y evaluated at x naught y naught minus f x y square evaluated at x naught comma y naught. If d is greater than zero and the second derivative with respect to x is greater than zero, then f has a relative minimum at x naught comma y naught. Now, second case, if d is greater than zero and f x x evaluated at x naught y naught is less than zero, that is second derivative is less than zero, then f has relative maximum at x naught comma y naught. If d is great less than zero, then f has a saddle point at x naught comma y naught. That means x naught y naught is a critical point, but it is neither a maximum nor a minimum. And if d is equal to zero, then no conclusion can be made. So let's do one problem. The question is, locate all relative extrema and saddle points for the function f of x comma y is equal to 3x square minus 2xy plus y square minus 8y. 3x square minus 2xy plus y square minus 8y. So let's calculate the partial derivative with respect to x first. And that is equal to 6x minus 2y and fy or partial derivative with respect to y is minus 2x plus 2y minus 8. Now equating fx equal to 0 and fy equal to 0, we will get 6x equal to 2y and 2x minus 2y is equal to minus 8. So by solving this x and y, we have 6x minus 2y equal to 0 and 2x minus 2y equal to minus 8. Subtracting these two equations, you will get 4x equal to 8 and x equal to 2. Substituting it back in either of either one of the equation, you will get 6 into 2 minus 2y equal to 0 and hence y is equal to 6. The point is 2, 6 is the only critical point. 2 comma 6 is the only critical point for the function f of x1. Now let's calculate d. For that we need second derivative fxx and that is equal to 6. fyy and that is equal to 2. fxy that means partial derivative First with respect to x, then with respect to y, and you will get it equal to minus 2. Or you can also read it as partial derivative with respect to y, then taking the derivative of fy with respect to x. So you will get f of fxy equal to minus 2. And calculating d equal to 6 into 2. 2 minus minus 2 the whole square and that is equal to 12 minus 4 and that is equal to 8. So d is positive. Now fxx is greater than 0 which means that the point 2 comma 6 the critical point 2 comma 6 is relative 
mínima. So, F has a relative minimum at the point 2,6.